he's going to teach you how to scan. See these things? Yep. This, this is 20 to $500. You can take this, you don't have to pay for it, and you just give it to people. And then when they find out that there's no money on it, you're already back in your car heading back to your house. I mean, I think you have to. Excuse me? You have to pay for that. Like, you know. No, you don't. Not if they're free. They're free until you have to pay for it, and then they activate it. If they don't activate it, then there's no money on it, except it looks like there's money on it. What's up, guys? It's Bad Decisions, where we watch people make bad decisions. It's your boy, Sherm. It's your man, Jay. First off, those, those cards are definitely not free. <laughs> He's definitely 110% a scammer. He's either a scammer or he really hates everybody in his office. He's scamming, he's stealing, and I'm quite sure that at least one person eventually is going to ask for a receipt. Whenever you get a gift card, they give you a they give you two receipts. One is a regular receipt, the other is a gift receipt you're supposed to leave with the gift card. So <laughs> I, I I think he might be new to this. It's like a new scam he, he drummed he, you know, devised. And he doesn't realize that people are probably gonna ask. If not for the actual physical receipt, at least for a picture. Hey, send me a picture of the receipt so I can talk to the guy at the cashier to make sure we know everything's right. What's he going to say then? So if you go to a holiday gift party or any holiday, you go, oh, here, I got you this. And maybe you give them two. And on the back, you write real quick with a Sharpie, 150, 150 on both of them. And then you give it to people. And then when they find out, oh, there's no money on this, they probably call you and you go, oh, I don't know what happened, but I know I paid for it. I have the receipt. They're not going to ask for the receipt. I would definitely call him. Because think about it. Could you imagine? You think you have $150. Yeah. You go to the store. You buy a bunch of stuff. You get to the front of the line, and then they think you stole it. I mean, I don't know if they would think you stole it. I mean, because you would try to pay for it. It just wouldn't work. Yeah, they'd scan it. They'd be like, I'm sorry, sir. This has never been scanned ever. Yeah, he said it was a gift. I'm sorry. Let me let me see. Hey, uh, uh, Mike. He's probably Mike or Vinny. He, de he definitely looks like a Mike. Let me stop. I'm, I'm stereotyping. He, he actually looks like a Mike, though. No? Hey, Mike, uh, the car is not working. Well, I don't know the background. He said if you go to like an office party or something, or you go to some kind of party. Yeah. That's why I said he might hate someone in his office. That's the kind of vibe I got is that like he hates all his coworkers. And that's why he said, you know, give him two gift cards and both with $150. It's just stupid because how long can you keep that ruse up? What happens when you go to work the next Monday? I have, this guy, okay. Are you just hoping that everyone gets so drunk in the office party that they forget that you gave him a fake gift card? I don't know what he's... Listen, this is a, a, a low-level, low-life criminal activity. I was going to call him a criminal, <laughs> but it's criminal activity. And it, to me, it sounds like he just got released from his 12th stint in prison. And he's been a menace to society since about seven years old. And maybe I'm stretching it here, but it just seems like the type of guy who's always trying to get one over on someone. And those people I could see him being like a, like a petty theft kind of guy. That's what I'm saying. Like he never does anything major, yeah. but he does something just enough to get in trouble. You're right. So I'll say not prison, jail. Yeah. Or maybe a lot of tickets and, um, I don't know, fines he hasn't paid. You know, I could see him doing like some kind of like identity theft or something like that. I don't know. Oh, he would definitely do that. You know, like uh, if you watch football, like they have the the playbook. They have different uh, plays like that are sp for special occasions. Yeah. This is like the maybe try this out play and see how it goes. It's not like a part of the main playbook. Like he probably has other stuff he does. Yeah. I mean, did he randomly walk up to someone and say that? Oh, that's yeah. what it. That's what it sounds like. So I'm like, are you randomly giving out your scammer secrets to people? I did not even think at Walmart. About that's actually, why is he talking about this on camera? I don't know. Oh, you know what happened? Someone probably saw him trying to take it. Oh. Uh, They're like, hey, you're stealing. And he's like, yeah. no, this is not stealing. There's nothing on it. I'm like, this guy. No, his confidence with it made me laugh. Yeah. I was laughing hard. It was He was so confident that I had to really think about it and go, is it really stealing? Because there's nothing on it. All he's taking is a piece of paper. I think it's plastic. The way that he said it lets me know that he's done this too many times. Oh, yeah, he's he's a veteran. He's, he's like, like, no, it's, it's free. <laughs> no, it's not yeah, nothing's on it. You got, you know, until you... Redeem. I'm like... Is he right? Either way, it's, it's... But you know what? I think I got it now. Yeah. He's probably an old criminal from, like, the 80s who just got released. Because he still thinks he can get away with it. You don't think someone's going to notice you? Like, it, bro, he's, he's kind of, like, got a kind of, like, different kind of look to him. Mm. And if you see the end of the clip, he's, like, spinning around like a little kid. I'm pretty sure everyone in the store is looking at him. You think no one's going to see him go, oh. oh, like he walked out of 1985 and everybody's like, dude, what? In the <laughs> think about, how, bro, how trifling it is to write $150. That's crazy. <laughs> There's nothing on there. That's crazy. He said, give him two. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Could you imagine if that was like your parent? That got caught on camera like that? <laughs> if he just did stuff like that. Cause you know, people who are like that are like that with everything, right? So someone who does oh. someone else dirty, they're gonna do do something dirty to you. Cause what does that quote go? People hurt the people they love the most, right? Something like that, yeah. That's, that's different quotes. That's yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, and I get it. So they're, they're, his kid, if he has one, is probably used to this type of behavior from their, their father. Unless he's been in prison for the last 20 years. You know, have you ever seen a show called Shameless? I've seen a couple episodes. He reminds me of Frank from Shameless. That's the main character, I guess? Yeah. Okay, just in case any of you guys have not seen Shameless, basically, on the show, there's a guy who has a bunch of kids. He literally has a bunch of kids. He's got to have like nine or ten kids. His name is Frank. He's pretty much a bum. He does nothing. All he does is try to like scam the government and like get over on people to try to get money. Front door is locked, so I came in the back. No pun intended. Like there was one time, like he got in like an accident on purpose to try to get insurance money or something like that. But the main the main character is he's a very sketchy guy. Yeah, I know people. Like, I've met people like that before. You know, the type that will like drive their car into a ditch to try to get to that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, some people try, listen, you ever heard the term, get it how you live? I guess some people just, they, they try to finesse and finagle and, and live life on easy mode, which doesn't seem much easier to me than what I do. No, it seems like they go through way more of a Yeah, it seems like much more of a difficult way to go about it, but, I mean, some people don't want to clock, they don't want to, want to clock in, you know? They want to... It's like a $20 gift card, though. I... That's not free. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. Uh, I'm going to say that he made a bad decision by sharing his scamming secrets. Like, why would you do that? Yeah, I'm going to say that he just didn't know what the heck he was talking about. He really thought that he was not stealing because there was nothing loaded onto it. But bad decision for even trying to do this scam in the first place. Like, it's just... He seemed like he's in a whole do dimension. Hold on the universe. All right, guys. This has been Bad Decisions. If you think he made a good decision, leave a like, leave a comment. If you think he made a bad decision... Leave a like and leave a comment. All right, decision makers, we're out.